Hey guys, it's Sarah here and I'm going to show you how to make a knotted necklace out of cord. This necklace was inspired by the Kate Spade Saturday line. The best part is that it only cost me a dollar. Let's get started. You will need two 90 inch pieces of parachute cord, tape, scissors, and a lighter. Take a small piece of tape and place it around the end of the two pieces of string. Then repeat the same thing on the other end. Make sure the strings aren't tangled. Find the center of the two pieces of string and you're going to create a loop. It kind of looks like a pretzel or a regular knot. Both ends are going to be on top of the loop. Take one of the ends and place it through the loop, but don't pull it tight yet. You want to do the same thing to the other side first. Once you've done both sides, take the ends and pull it tight. Then you're going to take one of the ends and place it through one of the loops. You want to make sure it's going from the bottom through to the top of the necklace. Take the end of the string and place it through the loop. Again, you're creating a second knot. And then pull it tight. If your string gets a little tangled, don't worry, you can rearrange it as you go. Then work on the other end and you're going to do the same thing. Make sure the string's poking out through the top so you can go underneath, create a loop, and then pull the string through from the bottom side. This is going to create the second knot. All you're going to do is repeat the same thing on both sides so you have a total of four knots on both the left and right ends. Each time you create one of the four knots, you want to make sure the end of cord is always sticking out of the top of the knot, so you may need to flip it over as you work. After you've created four knots on either side of the center knot, you're going to find the center and tie a knot. Don't worry if the ends are uneven because you're going to take scissors and cut them off. The final step is just to carefully take a lighter and burn the ends of the rope. This is going to prevent it from fraying and then you're done. If you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. For even more DIY projects, check out my blog.